new game. Yeah, let's make it hard, why not? Master Sloth. Pray tell. Haha, <laughs> that's a play on words, I get it now. Look at that motion blur. Maybe it's just the frames. Oh, it's just like that bit in Lord of the Rings. There's literally no one that you're running from. Oh, okay. Oh, no. 48 hours earlier. Also known as two days. Oh, I do apologize. Am I disturbing you? No, please. You God, he looks scary. Please get rid of him, Watson. But he is shivering with cold. He also wasn't upset. there until you, you needed him to be there. Little top. Can I offer you a cup of tea, Mr. Booby? Saucy. Well, I, uh... It is not as though we are disturbing you know who. D D Voldemort. Oh. I have a feeling that they watched the movies and they based the characters a little bit on Jude Law and Danny Jr. What? What was that? What? What do I do? Sk what? I didn't want to skip. That was an accident. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, I still want to say why are you here? Okay, so the button prompt below doesn't actually relate to the command that it's showing. And when was the last time you saw him? Three weeks ago. Blimey. He left for a new job. But this time, he was acting a bit strange and angry. I think he just doesn't want to be around anymore. Three weeks? That's a long time. Well, every day I thought he would Ob show object. up. Object, what? And anyway, I can look after myself. Magnetician, buddy. What do you mean, sir? I mean malnutrition. I was digressing. No, I wasn't. What? You said that you can look after yourself, and then he... No, you're not. You're malnourished. What? Yeah, well, it's just the two of us now. Yeah, well, My mother died when I'm definitely not a fully grown man voice in this child. Because that's all he can find. That's all he can find. I'm a little boy. Come on. 12 Dorset Street, the first floor, door E. It's in Whitechapel, Dory! Sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, his eyelids were flipping weird. How are we still playing chess? Wouldn't Sherlock Holmes just win straight away? Hey, buddy. Poor child. Holmes, you should help him. Yes, I'm doing that. We need to help Tom find his father, Holmes. Yes, I know. Doggy. Brave Toby. Best nose in the British Empire. Put on your clothes. No? Put put on your bloody clothes. There we go. Put on put on your clothes. No. Put on some clothes for Lord's sake. Guess I can finally put on a hat like I should be. Yeah, they clearly just watched like a Robert Downey Jr. movie. Look at that. Validate. I validate your existence. Right, let's get going. There we go. I'm glad I put on a hat because it's very uncommon to not wear a hat. See, look at all these people wearing hats. Right, 12 something, eh? Let's get going. Robert Downey Jr.'s face. I hope he got paid for this. Although I don't, he's already got enough money. Is this seriously how long it takes to load? There we go. Uh, good luck with that, buddy. Luckily enough, there's only one street for me to explore. There we go. Numbers put on twice, just in case you miss it. Should I have rung the bell? Ah, screw it. Okay, I can only interact with the right door, fine. You know no one's home. Tis our home, Mr. Holmes. How'd you get here? Concentrate your intention on finding details that others are inclined to overlook. The old tabard club. Right. The old Tabard pub, North Street. Hurst covered his bills ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security and sustenance. What a lovely boy! Is that a pumpkin in the sink? Yes, it is. <laughs> Madness. Ah, so that's why you came to see me. Please, Another sir, check? find my father. I'm working on it. Go on, there you go. What's going on up here? It's too dark, I can't see anything. 
Hello there, George. I know it's difficult for you to find a job, and you do need to feed and clothe your son, so I've attached this letter to, to a pub leaflet. I've heard that there is a fellow there who is offering a special job. Maybe it will help you. I hope so. Good luck. Right, I think it's time that we go to the pub. You right there, buddy? Okay. I don't feel thirsty right now. I don't feel thirsty right yes, now. Yes, but you do need to go in there. I don't feel thirsty right now. Oh my word. Okay, fine. Go on. You're thinking about it, are you? There you go. The old Tabard pub, North Street. There we go. Have you worked it out now, buddy? Yeah? Please, sir. Find my father. Well, I would do, but I'm not allowed to enter the pub for some reason. What are you doing? Don't get angry at the barrel. It's not doing anything to you. <laughs> You're just dancing about, are you? Get in there, buddy. Why are you doing that to a barrel? Alright. Careful on those boxes, they don't look sturdy at all. They're made of flipping cardboard. I don't feel thirsty right now. It's not all about you. Come on. Right, well I'm gonna have to look up a tutorial because all logic points to the fact that I should enter the pub. <sighs> Ooh. Search jackets, you came, find a leaflet. Click on the front of the leaflet, then rotate the leaflet, then click the back to collect it as evidence. What? You have to click on the back of it? What a flipping joke! Why can't you just leave it in the jacket as well? Like, I know where the king place is. I was just stood outside. Oh, so you suddenly feel thirsty, do you? You big old twat. I need to earwig to find out who is offering this special job. What? What is this? Is this how eavesdropping works? This is weird. Ugh. No, no, no. That fellow who's offering the special jobs, he never drinks alcohol. Alright, cheers. That's handy. Hey guys. I'm just gonna lean on this post. What's that weird, like, horse noise? The man who's offering that special job has a proper set of mutton chop whiskers. <laughs> People are just sat around discussing that guy by, like, these very, like, broad terms. Like, the man who's offering the special job. It's not just like, nah, mate, like, Bill's got the mutton chop whiskers going on, you know? Yeah. So we're looking. So the man I'm looking yeah. for has whiskers. I was just about to say that. Never drinks alcohol. Oh, your ear is glowing. Beard, whiskers, glowing ear. Beverage, water. Beverage. This must be the man that I'm looking for. Wow. Hmm. Could be. Oh, nice hiding. Good job. At the start of October, Mr. John Strobridge went missing from Dorset Street under the mysterious circumstances. If you have any information, please contact Mrs. Strobridge at 5 Dorset. Alright, let's get going to 5 Dorset then. You see that gentleman? I need you to follow him and report back to me. Right. Oh, shoot! It's me. Okay. I am Wiggins. Look at me, run! Is that him there? Just stood? Yeah. Why do I need cover? I'm just a boy walking down a street. If anything, it's more suspicious to go in cover. Dirt and beggars everywhere. Dirt and beggars everywhere. What sort of person turns around every five steps? I guess it's the same sort of person that offers a special job. <laughs> His suspicion goes up massively if you peek out, which it should do. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, governor. I'm just a little boy. Oh no, it's the police. Pass. I'll need to find another way. Won't they let you pass? Considering that I'm playing this on hard mode, I sort of wish that it didn't say cover all over the flipping walls. Take a brush and get in there. All right, I'll take a brush and get in there then. Stupid kid. 
Can I have a chat with you? I'll be able to continue the chase if I climb up the chimney, but it's dangerous. Fine, yeah, let's climb up the chimney, why not? What are you waiting for? I don't see why I would. Go on. Please, you don't have to beat him. Go on. Go on then, yeah. Don't know why I thought to go up the chimney. It was just the instant thing to do. Alright. Is that my, my lung condition? This is grim. What? Why am I doing this? Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth. Blimey, that was close. The Holmes really owes him. He's still here, that's a relief. That is a relief, because I don't know why he decided to go up here. Flee bonk! Flippin' heck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Ah, this is pretty good, actually. I like this. Oh. oh my god! God damn it, John! Stay in the circle! Flippin' Tarzan, what just happened? What shall we do with a drunken sailor or I in the morning? Probably leave him alone, let him recover. He's probably got important stuff to do the next day. No place to hide here. We'd better go through the yard. Better go through the yard. Oi, what are you doing in my yard? Climbing over the fence, lost the ball. Peekaboo! Great, now I get to do a shoe shine mini mission, do I? Wash it off. Put. Oh, wait, come on. Yeah, I'm working on it, buddy. How'd your shoe get so dirty? You were inside anyway. This could be. What are you? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. What? Did I? What? What? His suspicion went way up just because I clicked on the wrong thing first. I need to get closer. But there's the scary dogs. <laughs> nice house. Oh, that's lucky. Oh, a coat of arms. It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. I can't see what's inside. I can't see what's inside. I'm a little boy. I can't see what's inside because I'm a little boy. Not a fully grown man. A little boy. Do only two people live here? I wish one was me. <laughs> because I'm a poor little boy. I like this house. I like this house because I'm a little boy. Tom Wigan's tale was quite unusual. What do you make of what he found, Holmes? Thanks, I didn't really need that segue. You're honestly doing nothing. Examine the item brought by Wiggins. Yeah, it's right here, but I can't do anything with it. Chemistry marks and symbols, there we go. The coat of arms of the Marsh family nowadays is... Would have been nice if you gave some kind of sound cue, like saying, I should check the archives. This young lady refuses to lady. wait for a It's flooded. Everyone was sent home. As if it could smell any mustier. <laughs> I'm a little girl, not a fully grown woman. <laughs> Practical motherhood and parent craft. Hmm. It's because his daughter just arrived and he needs to uh, be a parent. Did you get it? Oh, Watson's actually coming along now. Don't you think it's time to... to tell her? To tell her what, Watson? Well, about her father. Never. Absolutely never. Do you hear me? Holmes, you were responsible for the death of her father. Exposition! She is old enough now. I see a man stood through there. Come along now. Uh, come in, please. Oh, he disappeared. Or was it Watson's refl- No, yeah. I saw him on the other side. He was stood right here. I think he feels unwell. He's He's got his blanket over him. Pills. Strong painkiller. 
Member of a hunting club? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. I'm fishing but for no, Reubens. Please, I'm intrigued. Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel? Well done. You are right. I well done. Congratulations. You've passed the test. Over there, but... Oh, oh, Dr. Fisher makes it all sound so romantic. <laughs> Let's this topic. This special job is so romantic. Some papers. Document with seal. Let me just read your, your letters, please. Lord Mash, here's the list of selected participants. John Strobridge. It was on a missing persons poster. Yes, it was. I just wrote on that guy's letter. It's kind of rude. Find a pair of related clues and they will form a deduction. Red color signifies unachievable clue combination. Some of the facts may be interpreted differently. You can always change the picture of a crime by choosing between mutually something. What's this box, Tom? Oh yeah, I just found it, Mr. Holmes. It was ever so well hidden. I've no, I've no idea, idea why. why. Well done, my boy. It could prove very helpful. Well, <laughs> could it? You haven't even had a look at what's in it yet. This oil can also be used on weapons. Lovely. Just we press Wolfjack. I need to find this rifle. There's a rifle hiding somewhere. I'm gonna find you, you rifle. I'm gonna rifle through your belongings to find the rifle. This scrap of cloth was used to oil a firearm. Oh, huh, lovely. Tom, does your father have any other property? No. Well, at least I don't think so. I have to take Toby. He'll take a sniff of the oil and we'll find that rifle. Willie? That's fantastic. <laughs> He's Watson, a saggy boy, isn't he? I prefer he? to visit Lord Marsh. I'm worried about the condition of his health. Okay, you go do that then. Oh, doggy, 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 dog. Search, Toby, search. Hello, I'm Toby. Woofy, woofy, woof, woof, woof. Over the door. <laughs> Dog open the door. Dog smart. Dog a little waddly though. Come on, dog. Oh. Just going down at 90 degrees, that's fine. I'm gonna get ya. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, there's another trail. Oh, the key works. Oh, the lamps are still on. Lovely. Oh, blimey. Tom's photograph. Let's yeah. try to get inside. That's kind of creepy, isn't it? Oh, lock picking. Okay, use the correct lock picks to lock the lift and create an un unobstructed glass <laughs> or something oh hey that worked oh, that's a really simple lock okay lovely dear Tom if you're reading this letter then it means I'm dead I'm so sorry that things had to end up this way but I had no other choice. You have to know that. You're a very smart boy. Blah, 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 blah. Your loving father. Look at that. They've luckily got additional information next to them as well. Oh, PS4. <laughs> oh, the console doesn't understand. Name 2 2 PS4. It's probably this one, right? Nah, come on now. There was something on the stand. Probably a rifle. Oh, that's what that button does. There was does. a rifle here. George Hurst took it with him. Yeah, I called it. What do you mean there's no link between those two things? There we go. He was in the Lovat Scouts. Sleep, sneak, 
Sneak into Lord Marsh's house. Okay. Holmes, what are you doing here? What are you planning? A mission of my own. You must play the role of the conscientious doctor while I sneak inside Marsh's house. <laughs> you eccentric, you. I would very much like to see Lord Marsh, if you please. Oh, what? What am I doing? What am I doing? What does this mean? Mr. Holmes? What are you doing here? Absolutely nothing. I don't know what I was meant to be doing there. Oh, you're so clumsy. Can you, yeah, you please? Are. I have to visit Lord Marsh and offer him my services. Fisher, please allow Dr. Watson to enter. Yeah, you madman. You let Good us in job, before. Watson. Yeah, brilliant job, Watson. You just broke something. Why? Why would I do that? Uh, ooh, I can hide here. It's lovely. Yeah, I was trying to look at this painting. Why did nothing happen? I'm in you. A second opinion, so that the great Lord Marsh does not become the late Lord Marsh. <laughs> well, since you put it that way, very well. Shall yeah, I retire see? to your office, Lord Marsh? No, please, Doctor. I insist that you stay. I shall need your assistance. Will you break anything else? I'll try my best. What? You didn't you didn't stay? Why didn't he stay? The dialogue that just happened implied that he would. Luckily I put the books back where they were. What are you doing? I don't know how I can work out if that's good or not. Whatever, I got it. Where might your companion be, Dr. Watson? Oh, he's busy poking his nose into other people's business, I'm sure. Yes. Creepy fella. Get it, get it, get it! Theft. Robbery. Thief. Sputum with tiny drops of blood. <laughs> Sputum. Mm. Lovely. I could take a sample and examine it under the microscope. Go ahead then. Lovely. Let us apply chemicals to color the sample. I need a pipette. Oh, I'm sorry. Three. I mean, I don't know anything about forensics, but I don't understand how adding dye would help. No. Guess it highlights the the impurities. I don't know. You don't think that Lord Marsh contracted tuberculosis while aiding the poor? How terrible! I have a commitment. Well, all the poor have TB, it's only well, fair. My absence, please. Investigation going. It's going. Dracula. It's going yes. Dracula. It's Let's have a look at the map then. The map of London and its surroundings. Could be useful. Apparently not right now though, even though that I need to go find a bloody meeting. Should we not just go to Grunston Oak? 100 legendary English hoax. Should we have a look at the map now? Although I already knew that we should be going to Etting Forest. To find a place from I'll need to hurry if I want to find out what's going on at the forest. I mean, I didn't even need to reference the piece of paper to find that. It literally said Grunston's Oak on it. Gabby, take me to Grunston Oak. Okay, it's not on the map. Then I don't know. Oh, what? Okay. What's this? Mr. Hurst... George Hurst knew about some of the people who had gone missing from the spec... Okay, I didn't know that I could do this. Blimey. Go to Epping. Yeah, I already worked that out. I didn't need my brain waves to match up for this to work. Come on. Oh, hey, it's the beginning. Only I'm wearing different clothes. Can't help but feel that I'm missing some information here. Good luck, buddy. There's a bear trap there, that could be nasty. Ah! Oh, there's a bear trap! What? Ah, he's gonna get you. Don't know why he hasn't shot me. 
Is that your blood in the snow? Yes, it is. I just stepped in a bear trap, you madman. Actually, he's quite clearly meant to look like Robert Downey Jr., but he looks a lot like John Hamm. He was poor. This man was killed recently. The body is still warm. I looked at his face to tell that he was poor. That's kind of sad. Ah! How am I not dead? I should totally be dead. Run. <laughs> I like to call this the, the swamp of despair. You're a bad shot for a hunter. No. Oh, did that hurt? It did hurt, actually. I'm almost dead, I think. Oh. Okay. Uh. What? Well, that was not a fun experience. Good luck, buddy. That's going to be slippery. <laughs> Action man. Why did it turn over like that? I clearly want to look at this side. My god, it's Lord Harrington's body. Hey, a cabin. Someone's coming, I better hide. Breathe, Lord Marsh. Oh my it's word, he's over. scary. An old soldier. How ironic. Is that Did ironic? You, but I didn't expect to become the prey. Ha, huh, I get it. I can barely see that. Set by others. Oh, it's a double thought. George Hurst hunts down paupers and lords in the forest. Hmm. Lord Marsh and his companions hunt down paupers in the forest. Condemn Lord Marsh. Lord Marsh is a cold-blooded killer who, under the guise of charity, hunted down poor people. Put Lord Marsh in jail, where he would eventually die from his tuberculosis. Absolve him. Lord Marsh has no likelihood of recovering from his illness. Allow him to die peacefully at home while ruminating on his crimes. Ooh, I, um, he deserves justice, doesn't he? Really, condemn. Yeah. Friend, now it's time to end this. By all it's time means. to end this. George, listen to me. If you're seeking an apt punishment and vengeance, killing Marsh will give him exactly what he wants. He would die knowing that he had fulfilled his life through his absolute control of it. But if you allow Marsh to live and be arrested, he will suffer a punishment far greater than your eye could deliver. Yep, his true. fallen chain will be the debilitating tuberculosis. It will drag him painfully and slowly to his demise behind bars. Yeah. You're mad. You're both mad. No, Let's you flippin' deserve it. Not just yet. See, Lord Marsh, you will die here. Although not by the gun. You'll die slowly. Don't Sorry, do buddy. This, we want to have Detective, some real justice here. Take a look here. Oh, my word. I didn't see this that before. This is how you became sick, Lord Marsh. I didn't do anything. I wanted to. You've already served brutal justice to Lord Harrington, and I hope Lord Collins and Dr. Fisher. Taking that into consideration, we may as well kill Lord Marsh and end the Quartermain Club completely. No loose ends. What? No, I wanted him to go to jail. He was meant to go to jail. That wasn't my moral choice. Yeah, whatever, that's fine.